Hey everybody, Matt Pridham from Web Diligence. Welcome back to another iSnipe video tutorial. Today we're going to talk about uh, units and clicks and settings and all that good stuff. So let's get started. Uh, you may or may not have noticed, uh, beside each of the input boxes is uh, a units box. Uh, each of these little boxes are clickable and they all bring up a secondary menu. Uh, for example, the projectile weight, we can click on where it says grain and it gives us the option of grain, grams or milligrams. Uh, this goes for all of them uh, that are applicable and um, most of them offer all of the options that you could possibly want. Uh, there are some omitted, um, but they are rarely used, and if we get requests for them, they can certainly be added later. Now, one thing that has been mentioned about iSnipe is there's no switch to go in and say, make it metric or imperial. Uh, we did this on purpose, and we did this because there are very few countries that are strictly metric or imperial. Uh, for example, I live in Canada, where we are apparently a metric country, but there are still a lot of things that people measure imperially. Is that a word, imperially? <laughs> it is now. <laughs> so, uh, for this reason exactly, I've, I've, we've left it so that every input can be decided the way that you like, the same with the output. Um, it, it can be different from your input even if you if you like. So let's go ahead and show how some of this might work. For example, maximum range. Let's say we would prefer to work in, in metric. So we're going to go ahead and change this to meters. And um, you'll see that it has automatically converted the yards to meters. Just a handy little tool there. And we'll go ahead and say 1,000 meters is our maximum range. Let's hit Compute. And you'll notice uh, range is still being displayed in yards. And we asked for 1,000 meters, and we go to 1,075 yards. Now the reason for this, again, is, is maximum flexibility and zero compromise for choosing your units. Uh, there are, will be times where you're shooting at a, at a different range or a new range and their range works in yards but you prefer to work in meters or vice versa. So this is a, a feature that we built in and we think it's something that will be convenient for a lot of users. Okay, so let's head into the settings and change some things around so our output units match our input units now. So we go ahead to the settings and uh, we're going to change our, your range from yards to meters. And we'll go back. And now when we click compute, you'll notice our range is in meters. It's kind of garbled because <laughs> we've set a 25 yard uh, difference. So you'll see we don't quite make it down to a thousand. Let's go ahead and change this over to meters as well. And we'll say every 10 meters. And compute. And now, of course, we make it down to a thousand. And everything's in meters as far as range goes. Now, in the settings here, we can obviously change more than just the range. We can change our path to be in centimeters instead of inches. We can choose to have clicks or mill values for our elevation and windage values. Our wind drift we can choose in either of uh, our choices here. Velocity, you can choose meters per second or miles per hour, kilometers per hour, uh, though uh, bullet velocity is usually measured uh, much more finely than that. And uh, a couple of energy choices, a mil dot reticle choice for the detail screen, and then our click setting down here which defines how many clicks per minute of angle. Uh, by default we go with, uh, with a one quarter, but um, perhaps one of your, your scope is, is, is different. 
So now when we compute, everything is starting to line up and uh, we've got it all in metric and the excellent thing about this is that it's all saved. So we can go elsewhere and when we come back into iSnipe and hit compute, all of our units have been saved and we don't ever have to think about the settings ever again. So a little bit longer to enter the very first time around, but much more convenient for the majority of users uh, that don't have the luxury of abiding strictly by imperial or metric system. Now lastly, let's have a quick look at uh, one of the most requested features is the, the clicks. Uh, a majority of scopes will will be defaulted in, in one or one quarter minute of angle increments per click, um, but there are a, a slew of different settings here. Uh, we chose to go with these four uh, commonly used ones. Uh, if, if your scope uses a setting that isn't here, uh, please feel free to send us an email and we'd be happy to add it in the next next version. Uh, I can show you a quick demonstration of, of how choosing a different value is going to change the uh, the click value. Uh, it's uh, fairly straightforward and, and more than likely uh, understood. Uh, so we have a, ni a negative nine a click value there, whereas if it were in its default one quarter stage, there would be a negative three. So that's the units in iSnipe. Uh, feel free to go through and customize it the way you see fit. And uh, remember, it all gets saved. And you only got to do it once. <laughs> well, that's it for this video tutorial. I hope you guys learned something. And I'll see you next time.